going to show you another quick demonstration of one of our newest features for the Chrome extension builder plugin and package for Bubble. And what I want to show you today is um, the new feature we recently added, which is getting the full page source from the current active tab of the user. Um, this was requested quite a lot, and so we added that. Um, and if you create your build on chrome.nokh.com, you can um, check the box to include the files needed for this or not include them. Um, please only check the box if you really require this functionality. So what this will do basically is once you um, got your build from, from us and uh, installed the Bubble plugin, you will have access to a specific action, which will be called Get Page Source Chrome Extension. So really, really simple. Once again, all you have to do is trigger the, um, the action itself within a button or whatever you want to do. And then you actually get the full page HTML source um, just using this one action and from all tabs, or basically from the current tab, no matter where the user is. So what that would usually mean is, let's for example say here, you want to get the page source, what you would do is um, go on view page source and you'll be able to see all of this. Obviously that's manual now, but you as the builder of this Chrome extension will be able to do that automatically um, and then work with that in any way you want. So what you could do, you could save these HTML source in the database. You can even make changes to them and uh, or just analyze a page. So the, the use cases are quite um, big, but we just want to show you how to um, implement this feature. And it's, it's quite simple, actually. So as always, we have our Chrome um, extension built here in our Bubble app. Um, I'm not going to go into detail. If you're new to this, uh, just watch one of our other videos that shows how to build a Chrome extension using our plugin. We have our plugin here and otherwise it's empty. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a button here and this button will say um, get current page source. All right. Um, let's style a bit, bit nicer maybe. Okay. And let's also say, all right. So when this is pressed, quite simple. We just want to do one thing. We want to head over to Element Actions. You see all the actions you have with the Chrome extension plugin. We want to get the page source. And that's all you have to do. When this is pressed now um, and the Chrome extension is opened here, this is pressed, the Chrome extension will basically read the current page source, will send it over back to Bubble, and you will have access to it via the state, once again, of this Chrome extension which is just you, for example, here, if you want to display it as a text, you could say Chrome extension ace page source. Okay, so let's just uh, try that out now, actually just to see if it works. I'm just gonna make that really small so it fits maybe on the page. Okay, let's add that here. And let's also push this or deploy it to live. And we can use the Chrome extension now anywhere you like. We could even use it here within this bubble editor. So I can just click on my Chrome extensions. I installed my extension already. It's called demo extension. We see the loading animation. And um, once it's loaded, it should display the button. Yep, get current page source. Let's try it. Let's click that. Amazing. You can see it's quite small. I did it on purpose, but we have exactly the full source code. It doesn't even fit on this uh, Chrome extension page here, but we get the full source code of the current active tab. Um, in a matter of a few um, seconds, or not even a few seconds, probably less than a second it was, okay? And again, you can use that on any kind of page, you will immediately get the source code. So, works really easily, as you can see. Um, the question now is how would you use that maybe in a real case uh, scenario? Um, for example, you could say you can have like a data type here, you say um, sources or saved source, whatever you want to call it, um, and has an off-type text, which is the HTML source, okay? Um, and then you can say, okay, when the create get current page source, you can say st this. And as a next step, I want to create a new thing. I want to create a new saved source and I want to set the field of this HTML to Chrome extension ace page source. And that's it. We now save the HTML source in the database. And we could even maybe add a repeating group here beneath this. So just drag that here, center that, oops, um, and say, all right, this is a type of saved source. Do a search for all of them. In your prob application, you probably add a constraint, say only by, uh, the ones saved by the current user, but we're the only user here right now. And um, yeah, you could just add, I don't know, you can add a, um, a link maybe uh, to this page source or show a pop-up, um, whatever you want to do. Um, we could add the page source directly here within and save the 
current cell safe source HTML. Won't look nice now, but um, just for demoing purpose, let's try that again. Let's publish our app to live. Let's open the extension again. And let's try it. So you can see, once again, it doesn't fit here, unfortunately. Um, wasn't the greatest idea to show this uh, whole HTML source in the repeating group, but you can see we have it saved here. It's in our repeating group, and um, you can now work with this, or again, as I mentioned, do any changes, whatever you want to do with it. But just showing you that that's how you can use this feature and easily add that within um, uh, your application and your Chrome extension. So that's basically it. Um, thank you for watching. And um, feel free to subscribe um, if you want to get updated for new features that were released for our Chrome extension or any other kinds of tutorials that are released for Bubble or any other no-code tools. Bye.